Hi guys, I'm Irina. Welcome back to my channel. Recently, the streets around pyramids, the Great Pyramids of Giza, really changed. So I decided to show you how they look like now. Let's go! On this map, you can see the Giza pyramids, the new Grand Egyptian Museum and streets around them. So I want to show you uh, the streets uh, around the pyramids area, how the government rebuilt them, renewed them uh, during the last couple of months or you can say during the last year. Actually, the change is great. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the video how streets used to look like. But believe me, um, they were not so wide and uh, they look now much better. So, let's start with the first one. First, I will take you uh, to the street uh, which goes from Remea Square next to between the pyramids and the new Grand Museum. And this street goes next to the place called Hadela Hram. And then it goes straight to Fayum if you continue uh, straight. Uh, the street used to be just two lanes and sometimes uh, because of traffic jam people really stayed very long time um, in the jams there. Now as you see each side has four sometimes even five lanes. So the old street that we used to have they left it now it's on the side. If you want to go to Hadele Haram you will enter uh, using the old streets but the main street is now all brand new and you see it's very wide with very nice and smooth asphalt and driving here really is just a pleasure another very important thing here is that finally 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 they made here uh, bridges for the pedestrians to cross the street we didn't have them before uh, just look at some of them. I will slow down so you can see this is brand new. I'm not sure people use them actually. I didn't see any people on them. Maybe they are still uh, finishing, you know, doing them the last touch. Uh, till now, next to each gate, uh, every now and then, it's like three or four times, they have uh, traffic lights and they have uh, hum. Yeah, in Arabic we call them matab. So when I, <laughs> when I talk to my friends, I make it plural and they say matabs. I got I got used so much to say the word matab, so I don't use the word uh, the word hum anymore. I always say matab matabs, you know. <laughs> I put it in the English sentences. Every time I go to my uh, Pegasus Club or I go to Dreamland or if you want to go to October, uh, you can pass by this new road and. I uh, adore driving here, no traffic jams anymore, so it's such a uh, safe wide street and it saves now a lot of time, so it makes my life really, really much better, I'm so happy. Well, this is how the street looks at night, it's the same street. Uh, now you see uh, this new Grand Egyptian Museum, this is how it looks at night, it's still under uh, construction they say maybe they'll finish it after a year or something i maybe after the virus is over then they will invite a lot of foreigners and i think it will be a very big opening with a lot of ambassadors i think and foreign guests so till now uh, we cannot go there So if you go straight from the museum, this new museum, you will see the pyramids. So this is how they look at night. As you see, they use a lot of lights to, uh, to lighten the pyramids, which is very impressive. Uh, I want to pay your attention that right now this street, this part of the street is very dark. Uh, why would to say this part of the street? Because again, it's still under constructions. They put their lampposts but uh, I don't know for what reason they're not working, not yet. But just wait a second and see what I will show you next. So when you drive here, it's really very dark. I have to switch on the far light sometimes because I simply can't see the road well. But it's not all the time. 
Here the lamps work. Just look how strong they are. I don't even see the light of my uh, of my lamps, of my car's lamps. The, these street lamps are so, so strong. You know, when I drive here, I feel I see better than during the day. Really, it's my favorite place to drive now. And honestly, I don't know any other place with the same strong lamps. And yeah, of course, we have lamps everywhere in Egypt. Uh, but I mean, so strong lights, I, I saw only in this part of the new street. It's amazing. I wait till they finish all these lamps in the whole new area and all this when all the street has these strong lamps mm, i think driving will be amazing matab one more matab oh you feel it with me now it's pretty high you know i've never seen so many these hubs uh, on the roads in russia for example in egypt you find them really a lot because i find that if the if police wants people to really stop if they want to be sure that all the cars will all the cars will stop uh only the hum guarantees that all cars will stop so this really the safest way so you can find them a lot on the big roads and the small roads uh so really it's a very common thing that's why if you live in egypt you will learn the word matab very fast Well, now I take you to the next street, which is called Abulhul Street. Abulhul means Sphinx. So this street can take you to the pyramids. Uh, what the way we move now on the left side uh, is the way to the pyramids, but we don't see the pyramids while we're moving. So if you look at the left side, which is the middle pavement, yeah, between the roads, this is the new part. Yeah, yes, of course, they put new asphalt here, but the main thing is the part which is now on the left side. Uh, before there was a canal here, so all this area, it was just a canal with water. And then many, many years ago, they covered it. But this here, just what recently they just finished, uh, they removed the fence maybe a couple of weeks ago. Uh, now you can see all this plants and decorations and they made uh, flower beds uh, they made they put a lot of benches so it's a it's like a park actually this pavement in the middle now it's like a park so you will find a lot of people when it's not hot uh, maybe in the afternoon a lot of people coming here just uh, spending their time you know people who live in this area uh, i think for them it's a free park next to their house it's uh, really very well organized, so it's, it's a pleasure now just to have a walk here. So all this pavement, uh, this in the middle of the street that you see on the left side, it's all brand new. Uh, in some places they even haven't finished the work, they're still uh, fixing or changing something. Pay attention to these lamps, yeah, the lamppost. I will show you how they look at night. I, I love the way they decorated them. When we finish Abulhul Street, we will go now over Haram Street. Yeah, it's the main street that takes you to the pyramids. We uh, go over Haram Street on the new bridge. So now we are on the new bridge. This is something really new, which was, uh, it was finished like a couple of months ago and it really saves a lot of time uh, for the people who drive cars. I like this and here are the pyramids so when you go up the bridge you really have very nice breathtaking view yeah especially when you come first time to egypt you'll really enjoy you know taking pictures and videos from the bridge when we go down from the bridge now we can go to remain square if we turn left or we can go to faisal street if we go right all this what you see now it's all brand new this is a brand new street and on the left side you see the cars this is also brand new this street didn't exist before all this just finished a couple of months ago as you see really a lot of work a lot of work has been done recently in this area this is the same bridge uh, but how it looks at night, we go now under it and we will go now to Abulhul Street, but from the other side. So now the, this new pavement that I want you to look at will be again on your left side, because we're going from the other side. Now the weather is hot, so 
life in Egypt starts at night, so you see when it's dark, now you can find a lot of people there. Uh, people of all ages, young uh, kids, women, men, really people of all ages uh, can be found on this place when it's dark. As I told you, now it's like a park. Pay attention to the decoration of the lamps down. They look, they look like hieroglyphs. I'm not sure if it has any meaning or it's just decoration, um, but it looks so stylish, you know? It reminds you that, yes, you are on the way, uh, you are on the street that takes you to the pyramid, to the pyramids. When it's dark, it's cool. So, as you see, a lot of people are sitting here on these new benches. They make benches from granite, so it's really strong. Uh, I hope it will stay for a really long time. This street uh, has a lot of cafes and a, a lot of cafes and a lot of uh, small shops like kiosk where the, like the mini mini supermarkets where they can where they sell some snacks, uh, soft drinks, chipsy biscuits and so on. So people who stay in this new new park let me call it this way uh, can just have some snacks in the shops and enjoy uh, look at this horse court it's used uh, next to pyramids for tourists so now these people are going back home uh, using this uh, carriage and of course in street like that you can you will always find a lot of tuk-tuk uh, because tuk-tuk go into the small streets and here between the buildings you will find endless endless really a uh, number uh, of uh, very tiny very narrow streets and the best way to go there is by tuk tuk please subscribe to my channel uh, not to lose new videos and follow my instagram where you can find more pictures and short videos about my life in egypt that's it for today thank you for watching see you soon bye